So we just woke up like at 5.30 in the morning. I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, we have a pretty long drive ahead of us. We're headed down to uh, one of my favorite places down in South Florida, uh, very hit away zone. We're gonna be camping for about 24 hours. So a lot of stuff has been gone um, into preparation from uh, last night to now. I went to sleep like at three in the morning. As you can tell in my eyes, I'm, I'm like, wow, it's gonna be a hectic day. So. Basically, um, we just went to sleep and now we're awake again. Now we're gonna drive two hours south um, and hopefully we're gonna get on this cold front bite. Um, it should be a beautiful day out there and you guys should have a very, very uh, good video uh, waiting for you. Uh, check out my peacock bass right there, pretty cool. On the other hand, um, we should have a really, really good outing today. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon. Finally got on a decent snooky. Trying to land him. We'll get him, we'll get him. Alright. Decent little snook. What we're doing is basically just dropping these these baits to the bottom. Try to see if they could uh if these guys will get to them. Earlier in the day we we're on bobbers, we wasted about three hours fishing the bobber. It wasn't worth it. Finally on a decent fish. Nice little snook. Let's see if we can get them on board. So, first decent sized snook of the day. Um, basically, just throwing a weighted uh, shrimp to the bottom. Very sandy color. Kind of um, reminiscent of its surroundings. So, super nice fish. We're going to go ahead and get this guy in the water. The water is freezing. What do we got here? I don't know yet. He's decent. He's decent? Red. Ooh! Red. Red? I think we got a red. We got a red boy. Ooh, baby! Oh, nice. God. Oh, God. We got a red! Let's get this guy in the boat. I'm a little concerned because you might be wrapped with me, Ozzy, but it's all good. Oh. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, mama. Mama. Finally got on a nice redfish. Uh, day did turn, but definitely a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Still got that blue on the tail. Very sandy looking, so lots and lots of sand out here. And these guys kind of just take on the element. Not too many spots, but a good amount of spots. Pretty fish. It's been brutal. My back hurts like hell. Um, yeah. Finally on the reds. This is what we came here for. Finally got one. Uh, we lost a pretty big snook. Got this one, so we're going to go ahead and release this guy. So we're still down here in South Florida. Um, it's been really bad. Our backs are killing us. We're on a Coleman 16 feet, I believe. Um, we decided to go ahead and uh, um, cook the redfish. So we're going to do a cooking video. We're out here for 24 hours. Um, that's the whole title of this video is basically staying out in the Everglades for as long as possible. Um, not as long as possible, but for 24 hours. And uh, we needed some food. We didn't have too much food. He gutted the hook, so he was bleeding a lot. So I thought it made more sense just to use the meat rather than him maybe make it, maybe not make it. Um, there's a huge chance that he probably would have just gone belly up or, um, you know, died out here or something. So we're going to put the meat to use. We're going to make a catch clean and cook probably over a campfire. Um, so it'll be pretty cool. Uh, he's been filming me this whole entire time. He's been doing a great job. Um, it's just really hard to film out here because of how aggressive the waves are and how, you know, how, how hard it is to really film on a canoe, especially when you're in the middle of the bay. So just to recap, in case it hasn't been clear, we got on three snook. The camera, uh, Ozzy, one of my friends, he, he lost a pretty decent size uh, snook there, but no big deal. That's all good. 
Um, but we uh, we've been getting out some snook. It's been crazy. So we we got here super late. And things took a really big turn, so it's pretty sick to see this all happen. Basically, I just want to show you guys exactly what we've been doing. Um, prior to the method we're using now, uh, we were actually using a bobber attached to about three feet a liter, uh, regular one uh, one size hook. You on? Regular one size hook um, uh, attached to. I'm crazy right now, dude. Super hot. You on? Hey, tighten the drug, tighten the drug. Rod tip up? Nah, it's nothing big. Or you lost it? No, I didn't have it. Rod tip up? Keep breathing. It's nothing crazy. Oh, oh there you go. Get a little kick. You never know what it is, buddy. Redfish! Redfish, dude! Your first red? It's amazing. Your first redfish, bro. Put that thing on. Nice size! <sighs> Alright, everybody, this is you. this is my friend's first redfish. Looking amazing. Great feeling, huh? Yeah. Good Sick. Good. good shit. It's a really nice one, too. Yeah. So, guys, the one that we have in the cooler right now, uh, like I mentioned before, he gutted it. Um, so, it would have been smart to uh, send him back, um, especially after you know, kind of almost ripping uh, a, a little bit of tissue in the throat to get him out. So we're gonna go ahead and get a safe release on this guy and uh, go ahead and hold him by the tail and let him go. Off he goes, oh, I thought you were going on the other side. <laughs> uh, awesome, oh dude. Oh my God. Sick. All right, recap. Two redfish. That was definitely over 20 inches too. Yeah. That was that was for sure over 20 inches. Sick ass, sick ass fight. Pretty weird. I think the only reason is that the drag was so tight that you didn't get to. What? That you didn't get like a drag scream because yeah. that was a bit. That was a pretty big red. Yeah. So recap: two reds, two nice snook, and a pretty good day. So we got lucky, and um, uh, I had actually been trying. I'm not joking. I've been trying to uh, try a redfish uh, catch and cook. But this was the perfect opportunity. He didn't, you know, he went belly up. So we went, we went around, grabbed them, put him back on the boat, put him on ice. He was legal. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and eat that. Don't let the, you know, meat get to uh, wasted or whatever. So stay tuned, guys, and we'll continue this video. You want us all over? Bring some Everglades seasoning? Yeah, not too much though. That's a lot. Yeah. It's like just straight up cooking it right now. Yeah. It's really white meat though. It looks really good. Yeah. It looks like it's gonna be really good. Yeah. Definitely a big move. <laughs> boom, boom. Seems pretty, uh. She's about done. It's a little piece. Eating shit like a <laughs> Bro, it's good. It's, it's good. It's disgustingly good. <laughs> Bro, I'm not even like I. I kind of overplay things. I don't. Yeah. Is it? It's good though. It's good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mosquitoes getting all over the meat. Oh my god. Take a taste. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, yo, I'm, I'm doing this every time. I don't go. <laughs> Bro, let's put this somewhere. Bones on the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like just eat it right now. I'm surprised the metal's not that. No, it's not. It only heats in certain areas. Bro. Amazing. Master. I don't think I've had a fish as good. Neither do I, bro. Neither do I. 
You know what's funny? Hardly any seasoning. It tastes super good. It's so thick and meaty, dude. All right, wait. What do we? How are we keeping track of this? I haven't had it. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. This is your half. What's half of that? What? Yep. Yeah, mosquitoes are all out. What? Mosquitoes. You're not no. getting bit? I just don't care at this point. Oh. Uh, wow. I coming. What? I coming. I just want to really. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, I've never, I've never tasted anything like this. That's insane. It's heavy, thick. Lobstery is very lobstery. Very lobstery. Mm. It tastes crustacean. -y. Yeah. Like, like crab almost. Or like, no. like a fishy crab. Yeah, bro. It's like, but it's very fishy too. It's like, it's a mixture of fish and. Yeah. Bro. I don't know. You keep on getting bones, and I don't. Because I'm picking the pieces that have bones. Remember, I didn't take out the rib cage. Oh. Um, I'm one of them. I just said eat around it because. With the butcher knife? No. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I got one. They're really thin, though. Yeah. Wow. So, super good meat. Recap of the. Recap of the redfish, super good meat. Tastes lobstery. Almost like crab. Take a little piece here. Mosquitoes are terrible, bro. They're really bad. Alright, turn this off.